To get us started, I would like to introduce Kellyanne Wynn, who is graduating with her doctorate in pharmacy this spring. Kellyanne is representing the WSU Spokane Health Sciences Campus. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kellyanne Nguyen, and I'm a fourth year pharmacy student at WSU College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. And today I am very excited to be um, presenting the Community Engagement and Service Learning Fellows, Making Ripples in the Spokane Community. Next slide, please. So just a quick introduction of what the WSU Health Sciences Fellowship um, encompasses. So our mission is to provide students an opportunity to expand their existing knowledge, skills, and leadership experiences around community engagement. And this is accomplished through the application of current skills and the development of projects that directly address campus and community impact areas, as well as the development of collaborative relationships with community partners and, and thereby an appreciation for the goals of the population served by the partner. And so being a fellow for the last two years, um, I just wanted to share some of the fellowship scopes that we have seen, which include public health, education outreach, women's health, housing and food insecurity, as well as civic education and racial justice. And this is just a short list of what we've seen um, within the last couple of years, but each fellowship is really unique and every fellow kind of gears their path based on their personal interests. Next slide, please. So introducing this year's, um, the 2021 and 2022 WCU Health Science Fellows. So that includes myself, along with my co-fellows, Ryoma Nichols, who is a first year Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine student, as well as Olivia Hiskey, who is a third year College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences student. Next slide, please. So the beauty of the fellowship is that we, every student has the autonomy to create initiatives and projects based on their passions, their visions, and their goals. And so for me, I was really drawn to the community outreach in vaccination clinics. And so I partnered with Spokane Regional Health District to facilitate on-site vaccination clinics and eventually home visits. So within this last academic year, we were able to have nine WSU student-led vaccination clinics, and these include students from nursing, pharmacy, medicine, all students who wish to apply their vaccination skills to its application. And so thus far, we vaccinated a total of 426 community members. Um, and recently I wrote a grant so that we could do home visits. So we've done two home visits thus far, and we're able to vaccinate 12 individuals who were immobile or didn't have um, the means for transportation or had a disability that prevented them from going to one of our on-site clinics. Another um, organization that I work closely with is the Hispanic Business Professional Association. And together we created the Luna Project, which is Latinos United in Action. And this is a mentorship program that allows for first generation, second generation, BIPOC students who strive to be the first in their family to strive for higher education, whether that be in health sciences or STEM. And as a person of color myself, I know the importance of creating those mem uh, mentorships so that there is a perspective of what it looks like to pursue the pathway of medicine. Currently, we have 24 awesome students who are from high school students to undergrad students within the Spokane community. And they also help us with food pantry distributions and fundraising. So thus far, we've had about 38 um, food pantry distributions in um, underserved populations in our community. Next slide, please. So I wanted to introduce Rioma's initiative and some background about him is Rioma's actually a veteran who has served our country um, and was in active duty in Afghanistan. And so his campaign, which is called Stop the Bleed, is inspired by the experiences that he had while serving. And so Stop the Bleed is um, an educational workshop that is given to WSU health science students as well as community members. So they are able to properly tourniquet um, 
individuals who suffer an event in a trauma that leads to heavy blood loss. So thus far, um, Rioma has held four classes within the WSU Health Sciences community, two within the Spokane area community, um, so outreaching to members. And so we've had 40 members trained and within those 40 members, five of them were able to get certified and then teach classes on their own. And so that's where we see that rippling effect where we have um, training where one individual is able to pass on that knowledge to others. And so within the Spokane area, we've had 83 awesome um, members trained. And our next step is to get leading control kits distributed out into the community. Thus far, we've had 40 within our WSU campus, but we do wanna get that out to other community members so we get more of that outreach. Next slide, please. And so for Olivia's initiative, her focus um, was initially on youth mental health. And so we recently had a community health fair at Francis Scott Elementary School. And so her poster um, was to spread awareness on um, adolescents like body image, um, changes within with, regarding to puberty, bullying, um, any negative thoughts or experiences and how to deal with them. And right now her main focus is on naloxone access in Spokane and surrounding communities through educational events. So those who aren't familiar with naloxone, it's a medication that is given to reverse an op opioid um, uh, overdose. And so thus far, she's had four um, naloxone trainings on our health sciences campus. She had one on our Pullman campus, which had a 500 plus Pullman undergraduate students were educated um, in the community. She's had two trainings. She's also delivered three um, drugs of abuse presentations. And we've had many health sciences students educated as well as community members. And so that is her main focus right now. And we hope to see those numbers grow within the next um, academic year. Next slide, please. So the future steps of our fellowship. So currently we are in the process of assembling the next cohort of fellows to serve um, the upcoming academic year. And actually Rioma and Olivia will be continuing on their fellowship. And so they will lead the next cohort through that mentorship and shared collaboration. And so we hope that current projects and initiatives will be built upon and improved. But at the same time, we do wanna give the opportunity for incoming fellows to create their own projects and initiatives that they're passionate about. So we do wanna extend those current resources and community partners and form those new opportunities with other amazing nonprofit organizations that exist within Spokane. Next slide, please. So if there are any questions, I had listed my contact as well as Rioma and Olivia's. Um, please feel free to reach out um, with any questions or um, any interest to work with the upcoming fellows. It has been a pleasure to be here today presenting on behalf of our community engagement fellows. And as always, go Coots.